Hey everyone, Wireless Productions here. We are at the uh, Gen 3 Hemi engine today and we're going to do an upgrade on the fuel rails. The Gen 3 Hemi's come stock with this uh, deadhead setup and um, it's good for the street but we don't like it because it's not a full flow fuel system which is recommended in racing and um, you want the full flow of the fuel to go to and from the fuel cell to help cool the fuel. Um, it's just uh, easier on the uh, fuel pump that, that way as well. It's just a much better setup. So we're going to get rid of this today. Um, <clears throat> we are a Ford Innovations uh, dealer and uh, Ford just sent us one of their fuel rail uh, uh, setups. We're gonna unbox it for you and show you what's inside and then we'll install what's in the fuel, uh, what's in the, we'll install the fuel rails and on the Gen 3 Hemi today. So, like I said, we just got our box from four innovations to FedEx, we're gonna open it up. Let's see here. We use um, four innovations on the CUDA's uh, Gen 3 Hemi engine as well. Works very well. Works very good. It's one of it's one of the best or the best um, uh, fuel rails you can get for Gen 3 Hemi's. And they also make fuel rails for uh, GM and Ford as well as um, the Nissan GTRs, I think. So. We'll unbox it for you and see what we got. So here's what's inside the box. We got one of their, I think this is their pressure gauge. There's a pressure gauge there, fuel pressure gauge. It's a liquid filled. I actually don't like that, but um, we'll see how it works. So that's the gauge. We also got one of their, um, I think this is their F2 regulator. Pack it real well. We got one of their regulators here. It's all sealed up. Here's the packing list. Here is, F, we got an F2I regulator, here's an instruction manual, or instruction page. Some more packing stuff. These are probably some fittings. We're going to do an, a Dash 8 um, supply and return for the 73 Challenger build. It's a filter. Some bolts. This is a check valve, and then this is a dash eight coupling that we're gonna use for the fuel rail. Some pack of bolts, and then these should be the fuel rails themselves. Cut it open. Here it is, all billet, aluminum, four innovations, it's a very, very, very nice piece. We'll, uh, we'll lay it out to you to see and then um, do a closer inspection. So here are the parts that we got from Ford today. Um, Beautiful, beautiful billet cut aluminum uh, fuel rails. Uh, this is the F2I fuel pressure regulator. Um, this is a check valve, and then this is a dash eight coupling, and then this is the uh, uh, pressure gauge, fuel pressure gauge that bolts onto the <coughs> regulator itself. So. Uh, four is very 
very nice quality pieces. They're all made in USA and Florida. That's the only um, billet fuel rails that we use. We use this, uh, the same, we got our rails for the CUDA from um, Demon Performance, but they're actually made by four. So we just, we asked them nicely and they let us become dealers and uh, very, very good pieces. Um, like I said, they sell kits for Hellcats, um, the Mustangs and Camaros as well. Um, Hellcats, uh, Dodge Chargers as well. And I think they have kits for, um, for Nissan GTRs. Um, we can get any of their parts. We're a dealer for four. Um, let us know if you can help you out with getting their, um, great quality pieces. What we're going to do now is, um, we're going to install all this on the, uh, on the uh, Gen 3 Hemi, and then uh, we'll show you how it looks. Uh, some quick advice about taking off the fuel rails. There's probably fuel in there. Uh, we got a little bit splashed on when we took the fuel rail off of the, uh, from the uh, intake. So we're uh, draining the fuel right now. Actually, a lot of fuel in there. I'll put it in my beater. But yeah, just be careful, guys. There's there's probably fuel in your uh, fuel rails when you take it off. Yeah, so this highlights why um, a deadhead setup isn't the ideal thing for racing purposes. Um, we pulled a lot of fuel from this, uh, all that fuel that was stuck in there. And these fuel rails <clears throat> and... Um, what happens is when you're in a, on idle in a car, just the fuel just heats up and it's not the best thing. So that's why we like a fuel, full flow fuel setup. It'll just uh, circulate the fuel all around. But that's a lot of fuel that's been sitting there. Um, let's say you were at a stoplight. It just sits there and just warms up from the engine heat. And that's never a good thing usually. So. So we pulled the injectors off. Uh, just be careful not to damage them. Here's the uh, shot for our reference. Uh, these are Deca injectors. Deca injectors. Let me see if it focus. Uh, part number six eight zero five one five five four AA. Chrysler Corporation Deca injectors. So installing the fuel rail is pretty straightforward. Um, you want the logo facing forward. So this uh, fuel rail is the passenger side. Um, the fuel rails, the stock fuel rails came with this um, longer uh, screw or bolt or whatever. And uh, we just took that out. Four supplies you with some nice, I think these are stainless, or maybe just zinc plated. Um, They'll recess into the uh, fuel rail itself, and then you don't use the uh, <clears throat> injector clips that co that come with the stock setup. Uh, the fuel rail just sandwiches the fuel injectors in into the intake, so it, it's not a bad not a bad setup. We'll install everything else, all the other components, the fuel regulator, and then the uh, pressure gauge and other fuel rail and then uh, we'll show you guys how it turns out so here's the basic four setup on the engine we have the four billet aluminum fuel rails bolted on um, and then the four f2i uh, fuel regulator um, is bolted on to the um, fuel, fuel rail itself using an, a dash 8 ORB coupling uh, which the fuel regulator uses um, dash 8 uh, ORBs on the left right and the bottom of the of ports so we just um, this is how we run it on the CUDA um, we have to fabricate a little bracket that bolts to the back of the regulator here 
using some, uh, it's metric hardware, but it'll b bolt from here to the stud on the head. Um, that's how we have it in the CUDA and it works great. Um, so this will just stick out. Uh, it's very solid once you have the bracket there. And then we'll use um, XRP fittings, um, either straights or 45s or B45s to go from the passenger to the driver's side fuel rail. It'll transition. We'll do that in an, in an upcoming video when we get all our, our, our XRP uh, fittings from from XRP and then um, we'll plumb it and uh, you'll see how it goes but it's a it should be a smooth transition there no kinks and then that, that's how it goes to the passenger fuel rail um, the return on the bottom of the fuel regulator is how the fuel gets back to the fuel cell um, we use a Y a Y block to 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 the back of the fuel rails but um yeah that's pretty much it um, but yeah it looks pretty slick for innovations products are top-notch that's the only ones we use we used to use um, aeromotive fuel regulators but I heard they were overseas or something um, it still runs well on the CUDA but once the regulator event craps out eventually we'll replace it with a four this uh, four regulator is going to go on to the 73 Challenger build and uh, it's going to be a nice piece for the engine. Um, I'm not too sure about the uh, liquid filled gauges. Um, I heard that the fluid changes with the um, pressure regulator uh, reading but well, we'll see how it goes. But um, in any case that's it for now for the fuel rails. Um, we'll go over here to the table and here's the uh, just do a little quick review on the uh, uh, check valve that 4 has as well 4 has all the fuel um, parts you would need check valves, fittings and all that stuff so um, th this is the bracket on the F2i um, F2i regulator, so we'll use that later. These are just the stock um, uh, bolts, Allen head bolts from the uh, stock fuel rail. And then this is the dash eight um, check valve. Let me see if I can crack it open. Uh, I can't crack it open. I need a wrench. Uh, but we use a check valve just to, to keep all the fuel in. Um, in the fuel rails and then uh, it keeps it a lot of a lot uh, uh, more f more fluid in there so it doesn't have vapor lock and stuff in traffic and stuff when you're stop and go driving but um, so that's that we'll just plumb this into the the uh, supply side of the fuel the fuel rail uh, fuel lines when it comes time well, you, we use uh, Dash 8 stainless steel braid, um, Teflon line, uh, XRP lines. They work very well. So, um, but that's it for now, guys. Um, like I said, we are a four innovations dealer. Uh, hit us up if you guys need any their fuel rails and their items. Uh, very good pieces. And then uh, we can help you guys out. All right, so... Uh, this is uh, Rallis Productions. See you guys later.